In this video, we are going to talk about list lookup. List lookup is the type of lookup where you store your lookup data inside the metadata. That means your lookup data is stored inside the data flow itself. Let's have a look at that. To create a list lookup, you go to the transformations and uh, drag and drop a list lookup onto the designer. And you can see here it has the value as the only attribute. So this is the attribute on which it is going to do the lookup. Say for example in this case I have my source and if you do a preview of the source in the preview data we can see that it has data about customers. These customers come from different countries. Say for example I would like to do a conversion of the country into the country code. For this scenario, I'm going to need a lookup. For example, Germany. I want to take the Germany as source and convert that into DE as the country code. Similarly, for Mexico, I want to use MX. UK, I will leave it as UK, and so on and so forth. So for this, I'm going to need a lookup. This lookup, when stored inside the data flow, will be a list lookup. So let's go ahead and uh, the first step would be to take the country and map that onto the value. That means country is going to be the source for this lookup. And uh, you see the outgoing port, this is going to give you the converted or looked up data and that you can use as a destination and you can send it as a map to other entities. Now let's go ahead and look at the properties of the list lookup. If you open it, you can see here this is a table where I specify the source value and what it gets converted into. For example, my source value, say I type in Germany and destination value is DE. That means I'm telling the application that when you get the source value Germany, you send out DE as a destination. So this is uh, how you specify the lookup values. But as you can see here, uh, in the source, there can, be, there can be a lot of values and typing them in manually is going to be a difficult task. For that, there is a shortcut. Let's cancel out of the screen. And if you right click on the lookup list, you can see here there is this item fill lookup list with unique input values. That means it's going to go to the source and pre populate my lookup with the source values. Let's go ahead and do that. I do that, and now if I go to the properties, you can see here it has pre filled all the source values, and uh, it is all it is the list of unique values. So let's go ahead and uh, specify the codes. Say, for example, Argentina goes as AR, Canada goes as CA, France as FR, Germany as DE, Mexico is MX, Spain is SP, Sweden, Switzerland, and UK. So these are the codes that each of these sources will get once they get converted. So this is the lookup data. I specified inside the lookup itself. For the lookup, uh, you have these options if the value is not found in the lookup list. Say, for example, I did not have UK here, um, and uh, there is a source data, data that contains UK. What happens in that case? For that case, there are options such as uh, assign value, add warning, and proceed. I can check that. And uh, in that case, if it uh, doesn't find the value inside the lookup, but it is in the source, in that case, it is going to assign either the source value itself or a null value, or you can specify a value. You can check this and you can type in the value. Or what you can do is you can just add an error message and say that, hey, no value was found inside the lookup for the source value. Also, you can uh, check this uh, case-sensitive lookup to make sure that the lookup is case sensitive or not. Uh, by default, it is always checked. So these are the simple options for the list lookup. I click on OK, and now your lookup is ready. I can go ahead and have a preview of the data, and you can see here, for each of uh, my source values, Germany is getting converted into DE, Mexico to MX, Sweden to SW, and so on and so forth. But for UK, you can see here, it did not find any values because we took out that row from the lookup list. So this is how a lookup works. Thanks for watching this video.